What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I've been holding off on making a video. As you can tell, it's been a while. It's been a few months or a month or so. But today is the day that we're doing another gig log. So you're not gonna be disappointed. We got the U-Haul truck, all of our equipment ready to be loaded up. Let's get some terrible lighting. So I'm gonna take you along and show you our biggest package, the biggest production that we can do right now at this moment. It's gonna be spectacular, so tag along. Guys, we just got to the beautiful double tree here in Lancaster. We're gonna unload the equipment out of the car. Collins already took a load in. For those of you who don't know, we're becoming a multi-op, so Collins is our newest employee. He's gonna be helping us out today, so you're gonna see a lot of him in the footage, but stick around, we're gonna get this loaded in. I'll show you what the setup looks like. And the room. Just got done with ceremony. We are in the reception space here now. We turn on all of our uplights around the room. We got all of our DMX all set up. Why don't you come around here and I'll show you what our setup is for today. See, we got the wonderful TV booth here with our TV displaying uh, a slideshow of the bride and groom. We got our sub speaker combos. We have four. ADJ Element, or ADJ Focus Spot 4Zs with Element Hex going all around the room. This is gonna be the setup for today. It's gonna to be pretty cool. That's it. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please join them in the father-daughter dance. So please join them in the mother's son dance. with us. So please, everyone, give them a moment while they make their way out here. While they make their way out here, they've chosen a song entitled Remember When by Alan Jackson. just got done with our introductions as you saw we got a little bit of that in there we did have a little hiccup nobody noticed this but for some reason our speaker one of our speakers kind of cut out and there was no music coming out of that so we we still had one speaker so everything went not as planned but it went well and nobody knew about that we talked to the bride and groom the wedding party so we're clear on that front now we're just enjoying some dinner music while we're waiting for the, the caterer to start serving dinner. In the meantime, we're gonna get the party started here. So feel free if you're where you're comfortable to come on out to the dance floor, ladies and gentlemen. that's gonna do it for the video we're at home this is the next day in my office just gonna give a little recap on how I feel the day went it was great to be back out there finally doing weddings again uh, this was the first one of 2021 as you can tell by the thumbnail and uh, overall it went, went very well usually I get a little nervous before doing weddings especially when getting on the microphone no nerves whatsoever it was very I feel like it just came to me, you know, I was a little nervous of like how I would act since it's kind of been, you know, four months or so since we've done an event, maybe longer since November. So it's April. So what is that? Five months since we've done an event, been on the microphone in front of a crowd of people. So that was a little nerve wracking, but it went well. Um, secondly, I want to talk about our setup, the TV booth, our double Windsor package. It looks really good. We got a lot of compliments about that. One thing that was a little challenging is that this room was like very large. Um, I will say that we didn't have any problem with sound with it being such a large room. Our QSC speakers are like, I, I feel like they're really good speakers, especially we had enough firepower with the two subs and two speaker combo. Um, but it was just a very large room. It was more of a problem, if you want to call it a problem, with lighting. We put 16 up lights around the room. We had two in front of our totems for our setup. And uh, it almost like it was just too spaced out that it didn't really wash on all the walls like I would like to. Um, 
Uh, I definitely like this type of like ballroom kind of effect because usually it's a smaller space, it's indoor, there's no windows, so lighting kind of reflects all over the place. This was not so much the case because I think it was such a large area. But it was great, there was 120 people there. Um, it was great to actually play music for people, they danced. Um, it was just a great time. I got some great reviews from the clients. Um, this wedding, we did ha hire a videographer. So he was that around there taking videos um, of the day. And I like to do this for marketing purposes so I can get a, a video, like a hype promotional video that I can put on my website, social media, to show clients like, hey, like this is what type of fun parties that we throw, and this is who we are as a company. And I, the main goal of these videos is to just show, have the clients look at it and be like, wow, they are really having a great time. I like everything that they're doing and I want them to be my DJ. That's my main goal with these videos. So that usually takes about four or one month, four weeks uh, for him to edit and get back to us. So that'll be coming up shortly on my business channel, Red Tie Entertainment. This is my personal YouTube channel, so if you wanna follow Red Tie Entertainment, I put a little bit more like professional videos there, um, and those will be coming more in the future. But I'm um, just looking forward to getting the reviews going from this client, and uh, now wedding season starts. We've got another wedding in two weeks, so we got almost one uh, every week when it comes up. March, April, May, getting into May, June. We have a lot of weddings coming up, so a lot more gig logs. So stay tuned. Sorry if I haven't made a video in a while. If there's anything you wanna know, please drop it down below in the comments. I'll make sure I get back to you. Or make a video if it's about equipment or some something like that that I have knowledge of. Um, so I really appreciate you watching it this far. If you made it this far, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time in our next gig log or whatever video we make.